Hi, I'm Miss Capri. I have a concern and a request. People who know me fairly well and are getting to know me know that I do not like virals, a.k.a. chain letters of any type, from the friendship passed us on and if you get it back you'll get this many friends, to the blog memes and the questionnaires. But the lowest of the low have got to be the sick kid hoaxes, the charity hoaxes that claim Facebook will donate this or that amount of money per share, per like, per repost. And there's always some kind of a sad story saying you could save this little kid from, uh, from whatever they're suffering from, whatever. And the language is often very appealing and very, it makes you feel bad. It's designed to make you feel bad and urgent that you want to save this kid with four words. Well, you can't. It's not possible with the technology, for one thing. But we won't get into that here because I've got something else I want to mention. It was bad enough when the sick kid hoaxes were simply about fictitious kids such as Amy Bruce and Jessica Mydek. They never existed. They were just made-up kids. But the hoaxes have taken a step lower to include photographs, and not photoshopped photographs, but photographs of real children, children who had their photos taken without the parents' permission not taken, but like with camera, but uh, when they were on the net, maybe they were in a family gallery or something. <coughs> <coughs> and somehow some hoaxer got onto this site and snapped up those pictures, stole them, and decided to, they thought it was cool to use these baby pictures to make up a hoax about them without these parents' permission. And now there's a case where this this one hoax, it was titled Cancer Baby. He is not a cancer baby. For one thing, he's not a baby anymore. He, he had uh, some kind of a condition when he was a baby, but it's been treated. So he is a happy, healthy seven-year-old now, and his name is Samuel Ettore, E-T-T-O-R-E. -T -T -E. And uh, his... Um, entry on Snopes and Hoax Slayer say that he was labeled a cancer, the cancer baby on, on the hoax. That's often the title of that chain letter. <clears throat> and it says that Facebook will donate this or that amount of money for his treatment. Well, that's not true. So he's, he's doing okay, but his, his mom, his mother, Hope, is trying to get this circulating hoax to stop. They took this her, her her son's picture without its permission and are passing it around online in this hoax. Well, that's a horrible way to treat anybody, and especially someone. I wouldn't even treat an enemy that way, let alone a perfectly innocent person who never did anything to whoever started the hoax. But not every child whose picture gets taken without their parents' permission is living um, uh, happily or healthily at all. There are at least two that have died, and still their pictures are going around in these chain letter hoaxes. One is about a girl that um, has a skin rash, and another is about a girl with a heart condition. A baby, I should say. Babies with skin rashes and babies with heart conditions. Um, <clears throat> one of them was named Manuela, but I forget what her last name is. And the other one is Zoe Chambers. Uh, um, they have both passed on. And Zoe's mother, Julie, is trying so hard to get Facebook to take down these pictures where like, they're just showing up without her permission and this hoax is circulating and it's hurting her badly because she's she's lost her daughter and this hoax this cruel heartless hoax is going around with her with this baby picture now I just find that that's deplorable enough but the guy who's victimizing her he's from Jamaica so I forget what his last name is it sounds like kinda like Thomas but it's, his name is Garon tomes or something and uh, he has actually made money from this because he set up some scam sites where he got people to donate 
thinking that they were donating to help a sick child. And all the while, what was really happening was he was lining his pockets with their money. He starts this hoax, this heartless hoax about this child. He rips off her picture from this from this family without their permission. Starts this hoax about it, and and he's making money off of it. Now, if that isn't totally morally bankrupt, I don't know what is. <clears throat> So, besides all of the, the lying and the guilt tripping that chain letters do, the fact that some of these children in these hoaxes have existed at one time or other, these, these photographs uh, are of children who actually have existed, and it's, it's really, it's just, please don't pass on these chain letters. Uh, Facebook isn't doing a thing about it. They claim they're concerned. It's a big deal. Yeah. Sure, if it was a big deal, Facebook would put a broadcast message on the home page so that when you open up your Facebook, that would be the first thing you see. Facebook, they're capable of doing that because when there's going to be outages or if there's going to be changes in the design, Facebook will let you know when you log into Facebook or even when you just land on the page from your iPod or whatever, you um, you get the, the announcement. Facebook is perfectly capable of blast messages site-wide. So if they can do that talking about their own product, they sure as heck can can do that to straighten out the record as far as debunking a hoax goes. And they should. It's on their site after all. And the hoax is about Facebook as, as much as about uh, the little kid. I mean, the Facebook will donate this or that per share or per like or repost especially when the word Facebook is in the hoax. But Facebook is not really interested in doing anything about it. So if you see anything like that, uh, please tell your friends to not pass these chain letters on and report those chain letter pictures to Facebook and have them remove them. Or have your friends remove them from, the, from their wall if they can. I don't know what happens if a friend just posts those kinds of things in their status. I'm not sure how to, t to delete statuses, and I never fall for viral, so there's never, there's not going to be much of a chance of me posting anything like that in any of my statuses. But for those that do, I hope you know how to delete them, because those pictures and those hoaxes, they need to stop. Because they're hurting people. Badly. Thank you.